surf fuel by My Delicious Life. Do you want to get fitter and stronger, improve your stamina, reduce your illness, injury and recovery time so that you can surf better and for longer? It doesn't matter whether you're a professional or you're just surfing for fun. Nutrition is a powerful tool that can make a real difference to your performance in the water. I'm Yvonne Jinman, a nutritional therapist, and I'm gonna show you how you can use food to fuel your surf. So let's start with the foundation. What food should you be eating day to day to support your overall health and fitness? Now you might have heard the term macros, and this is short for macronutrients. Macronutrients are foods that give us energy or calories. And the first one is carbohydrate. Carbohydrates are found in starchy foods like rice, oats, root vegetables, bread, in naturally sweet foods like fruit, and also in things like table sugar, cakes, pastries and biscuits. So in the main you want to be focusing on carbohydrates that release their energy slowly. And this will keep you fueled throughout the day and during your surfs. So this is things like oats, brown rice, rye bread, sweet potatoes, oat cakes. The energy in fruit is released much faster, so that's quite a good choice to have just before or just after a surf. Now the next macronutrient is protein, and this is found in things like meat, fish, eggs, beans and lentils and chickpeas, nuts and seeds. And protein is really important for growth and repair and keeping your muscles and your ligaments strong and healthy. So how much protein should you be having? If you're surfing regularly, say three to four, five times a week, then you want to be eating roughly one and a half grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. So for somebody who weighs 70 kilograms, that's about 105 grams of protein a day. And just to give you some idea, a chicken breast would contain about 40 grams of protein. A boiled egg has about six grams of protein. And a handful of almonds would have about four grams of protein. Now next are fats. So fats have got a bad rap in the past, but they're absolutely essential to health. And studies have shown that diets low in fat reduce the production of the hormone testosterone and testosterone is really important for building muscle. So the trick is to go for healthy fats that are found in natural foods such as olive oil, avocados, and again we've got oils in nuts and seeds and oily fish. In addition to carbohydrates, proteins and fats, you want to be eating five to seven portions of fruit and vegetables a day. And this will make sure that you're getting plenty of fiber and lots of vitamins to support your overall health. And then don't forget about hydration. So fluid is really important. And of course the best source is plain water. And you wanna be drinking about two to three liters of this a day. So let's have a look at a few examples of what that looks like in practice. Good breakfast choices would include a sliced banana with plain yogurt and seeds. Porridge with apple and walnuts. Toasted rye bread with avocado and poached eggs. A spinach and mushroom omelette with some blueberries. For lunch, you could have a baked sweet potato with tuna or hummus and a large salad. A brown rice and veg salad topped with roast chicken. Leftover roasted vegetables mixed with quinoa, black olives and halloumi cheese. And some ideas for dinner could be chicken with roasted Mediterranean vegetables and pesto, a baked salmon fillet with mashed butternut squash, steamed green beans and broccoli, steak or fresh tuna with sweet potato wedges and a large salad, or lentil dal with spinach and brown rice. So I hope that's given you some ideas of how you can put together a healthy meal plan to support your surfing.